Hi guys, it's me, The Trip, and today it is another LEGO set review. As you can see, it's a really big box. It is set 70735, ages 8 to 14. The Ronin REX set contains 547 pieces and four minifigures and a Screamer. Screamer, Kai, um, Goltar, and Attila. And on the, on the back, shows all these features and cool things that you can do with the set, which I will be showing you in the review. So let's get started. I'll start off with the two instruction booklets that we get, which are labeled. Here's the first one. Same picture as the box. Uh, an advertisement for all the uh, season uh, five or six sets. I forget what season that was, but the ghost sets. As you know, pirate season is out now, so you guys can see that. Here's an up mini poster. And you end the build here. You get to build a couple mini figures. And there's just a separate bag that comes with all these other parts that you need. Big part. Now, booklet number two. Same picture. It has a little ghost printing on there on the sides, which is cool. And then it shows you how to work it. A piece count, and then some more sets and the features. And yeah, those are the instruction booklets. And now onto the minifigures. We'll start off with the little Screamer, the same one that we got in the Jay Walker 1 set, which I have reviewed. If you haven't seen that, you can check that out on my channel and my rec most recent five videos that I posted yesterday. But he comes with uh, one of these, a dagger, and then he also comes with a chicken leg, but that's in the Ronin REX, which I'll show you in, later on in the re there's this review. Now into the actual minifigures. Uh, we'll start over here. Attila is one of the ghosts we get in this set. As I said, this is a popular headpiece for all these ghosts. As I said that in the Jaywalk 1 review. You get the minty green sword, which is nice. And then the minty green hand. This printing is also pretty popular, too. It's see-through green there. And then there's his back printing. And in the box, he, it shows him riding the dragon, which I will reveal the dragon after these minifigs. Now on to the main character of the set, and one reason why people might want to get this set, because of Ronan. Ronan is really cool and funny in the TV series. And as you can see, he has a new color of the Sensei Wu hat. It's like a darker red. Same color for that. His bandana that goes around his mouth. And then you can get the hair for him and some Star Wars sets. There is, he has that little eye patch thing over his eye. And as you can see, that's like a shuriken on his belt there. Lots of detail for this guy. He kind of, he looks like uh, one of those new pirates for the new... Ninjago sets because of the arms. Nice printing on the back. And he does come with uh, some swords, but I'll show you those in the REX itself. Yeah, so that was Ronan, the main character of this set. Now on to Kai, the ninja. This is his deep stone, deep stone suit. I really like the deep stone suit. It's one of my favorite kinds so far. Nice mask here. And you can see that his face printing same as 2011. I don't think they're ever going to change the faces. Black gloves and a nice printing here. It kind of reminds me of the 2012 version suits. And you can see it down here in the legs. And then his fire symbol. That was Kai. And he does come with a, the arrow blade, which I'll show two in the set review. Now our last minifigure, Goltar. He's a really cool ghost, ghost to get. can't speak today. And as you can see, it comes with one of these nice 
blades, which I really like. A minty green thorn. Brown one of these. And then a spear. That's a cool weapon. And he comes with the ghost tail and the armor that Moral gets while well, possessed Lloyd. A, a new purple sensei we have, which we get in some other sets. And then this is his face printing. It looks like a skeleton, sort of, in the back. This is Possessed Lloyd's armor, except in blue, dark blue and gray. I really like this one. More skeleton printing, looking like that. And the tail's really cool. You can actually put it on a stud. See? And it works really nice. And yeah, Goltar is a really nice minifigure to get. And if you want him, you can get him in some other ghost sets. But I, if you want to get this set too, you can get him in it. So, I really like Goltar. And now on to the actual set itself. We will start off by reviewing this mini dragon that we get. It kind of looks like uh, in the... When Lloyd is possessed, uh, Moral's a dragon. It kind of looks like a miniature version of him. Minty green blades here. Oops, sorry, Goldar. And the tail can swivel and move like this. Oops. It just connects onto the little handlebar here. And it can move here, too. And these nice wings, which we get in Moral's dragon. Red eyes and some silver teeth. And you can see some green down there too. There's the head printing, which is nice. And then you can sit a minifigure right there. I'll take Attila. And you can sit him inside there. In that little seat. Sit down, Attila. Ah, there we go. Ah, it's there we go. And that was the dragon. His head can move around. It's so hard. And yeah, it looks really nice. You can make it like flying in the sky. And that's cool to get. So that's all aside for now. And now onto the actual Ronin REX. This thing is huge. So it might be take, take me a while to cover everything in it. But as you can see, you can see a lot of stuff already. By just looking at it. We'll start on the sides here. This is a sticker. Same for each side. You get Kai's fire sword and then a normal katana there. And then these two little guns down here. And these are Archer D2's legs. The, sw the swiv swiveling part. Except these are Archer D2's legs in black. And then on this both sides we have... Uh, ball joint with the motors connected to it with golden sensei woo hats. You see that these a lot in the new Ninjago sets. As the old sensei woo hats look so differently, which looked a little tanner. This is the old sensei woo hat compared to the new sensei woo hat. Okay, so on the top there's a sensei woo hat too. You can see there's some lights here. And on the other side. And this does move and rotate. So what is that? Um, right down here, you just take this off. Do it, enter and open the cockpit. This is where Ronin sits. So you can bring it out like that. And then put your Ronin minifigure in. As you can see down here, a lot of space with two stickers here. Like that. And then you can see the arrow blade back there. And you can actually stand a minifigure there. These are Ronin's two black swords. They just go in here. I've seen this before in like 2014 sets or 2015, yeah. But I took them off so you can store them in the back there and when you ro sit Ronan down on his chair, you you can't you'll be able to do that. I'll sit Ronan down here, and he's sitting down now. Uh, this is a printed piece, I think. I forget if it was just. Oh no, 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 no! It's a sticker. 
right there. There's two levers on the side there. And we'll put them back down. As you can see, there's two guns there and a coffee mug. And these are the chicken legs. These are like little ovens. Or you can put something else in there if you want, like a storage compartment. A little red coffee mug and the stud shooters, which we pre pretty much know how they shoot now. And a, this is a printed piece. It's nice to get that. A uh, computer tech thing, and then a some binoculars in gold, which you, it's nice to see that. Then, as you can see in the storage, you can there's a little crate there. You can put stuff inside there. You can stand a couple mini figures in this ship, actually. As you can see on the top here, if you twist the Sensibu hat, it makes the propeller spin really well. But sometimes it falls off easily. And you can see stickers on both these wings here. And this is nice. Turn this thing around. And it has a nice handle for you to hold it. And then it has an air jitsu on the back, which I'm excited to show you. Barrels here. So you can stand a minifigure like Kai here. And that's his arrow blade there. I'll stand Kai in here. And you can put something inside the crate. There's the sort of sanctuary there. You can see your opponent's attacks with that. More stickers here. And a lot more golden katanas throughout this whole set. A lot of technic too. And gears. That makes this work. Then, as it worked with this air jitsu, which I reviewed. You can the it, you it comes with a rip cord, which looks like this black one, and you just put it in that little slot there. And also, when you do the rip cord, it can make the put it in. It can make the propellers move, just like the Sensei Wu hat does, and it goes through these gears. As you can see, it makes the gears move. Now I'll show you the air jitsu part. You can put a minifigure inside there, but I won't. Like, because I, I already showed that in Eros and Moro's air jitsu flyer. It's a golden one. This is the only set you can get a golden air jitsu piece in. And now I'll show it fly. As you can see, there are cords here, and I'm using the handle. Just pull it like this, and it flies up. Done. Again, one more time. You can do some cool tricks with it too. And this is what it looks like. And yeah, that was pretty much it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for all the subscribers you've given me so far. Keep subscribing. And this is a great set to get. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. And I really enjoy it. And but one thing, it is a little hard to build if you give it to like an eight-year-old. So maybe I'll have to say like ten to fourteen or something. I don't know, but it should. It it's not too hard. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon on tomorrow for my next video.